Welcome back, this is Dog, and uh, we're playing a little game called Ice Lakes. Of all the games on Steam and other places about fishing, and somehow I never tried this one until recently, playing with some friends, actually having some good fun. Uh, it's a silly little game, but it is fun, and I actually found it to be a little bit uh, difficult in starting out and figuring out kind of what you're doing, so I thought I would just share what I've learned so far and kind of show you a 10-minute competition so that we don't this video doesn't get too long. But let's talk a little bit about when you first start playing what to do. Uh, first of all, the tutorial is actually really helpful, especially the one on fish or equipment. So like on fish species, we're gonna be targeting um, Xander in this video. So uh, if you find Xander here, it actually gives you some pretty good information. Uh, so according to what season you're fishing for them, you, you, know, you may change where you're fishing, but it gives you an idea kind of how to target and go after them in terms of location on the map. And then equipment is especially helpful. There are different types of jigs and lures in the game. And so to read about these, it gives you an ideal or a recommended way of fishing with them. We're going to be uh, using the Mormishka jig. And, uh, and so the, the way that we'll be fishing with them will be specific to that type of jig. Uh, if you're using a balanced or even like a vertical jig, uh, the way that you would move the line in the ice will be slightly different. So I just wanted to mention those tutorial sections, though there um, is nothing you're actually playing, reading about the things can be very helpful. Uh, when you first start off to kind of get a handle on things, I do recommend it either cooperatively with other players or by yourself. You just go in and start doing some free fishing. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Uh, Bach. sorry if I'm not saying that name rightly. Correctly, I'm not streaming right now, but it's always fun when somebody follows. Uh, when I'm not streaming. So um, you can go into Forest Lake, which is sort of the beginner lake, pretty much just small fish there, and you can just kind of get an idea of what you're doing with free fishing. But uh, the thing that I learned pretty quickly is the way that you want to make money, because if you're just doing free fishing and in some of the lower lakes especially, even if you're catching fish, it feels like, man, I'm never going to get the amount of money I need to purchase some of the upgraded equipment such as like a heavier medium or heavy drill. I mean, 4,000, 6,000 coins. That seems like a lot when you're making maybe like 20, 30 coins every time you're turning in fish. Uh, bigger rods also uh, is a lot. For this tournament, we'll use the medium standard rod, by the way. I have unlocked heavy, but we'll use medium for this competition I'm about to show you. Um, so that stuff that um, really led me to realizing that competitions is where it's at. So before we start our competition, let's look at equipment. Like I mentioned, we're going to be using a Mormishka, uh, Mormishka jig. And to do what I'm about to do, you can use the Red Devil, which is actually what you start with. And so, uh, sorry about that. Um, you can use this Red Devil just fine, uh, even though it doesn't mention Xander. Um, you will still catch some Xander on it if you're going to target Xander like I am. But it, just in general, catch a lot of different fish at the starter lakes on the Red Devil, so it's a good one to use. What we're actually going to be using is called the World Champion, so you'll need to spend, I think it's 1,700, but it could be 1,600 coins, I don't remember now, to unlock this jig. But this jig specifically is best for Xander. So it's a relatively inexpen inexpensive early jig you can get that does a really good job of catching Xander which will allow you to quite easily start placing in the competitions, even from the start and early on. Um, the other thing that we will do with this jig is we will be putting drone flies on them, okay? So uh, these are also good for Xander. So between the drone fly and the jig we're using, uh, we'll be able to catch Xander quite well. And that's why I mentioned that you can still use that uh, red jig that you, you get when you first start is because if you throw in some of these drone flies, then even though you're not using the ideal jig for Xander, these will still help you target them quite nice. So let's get a few of those and let's go get started on this competition. Now, there's two different ways you can do this. Starting game gives you an option of doing several competitions and then tournament is uh, larger competitions. All of this is against AI. There's a whole online mode where you're fishing against other people, but that is a completely different section that we're not gonna even touch today. Um, tournaments 
go in stages. So just know that you won't get your rewards until you finish all three rounds of the tournament. So like right now on the first tournament, I've done Roach and Forest, tied in first place. I've still got to do Moose. Well, I'm going to sort of get used to Moose before I do that final round of the tournament. And the way you can do that is by doing Start Game. And over here, we're going to do Total Weight is going to be the game type. I'm going to go down to 10 minutes. We're going to do Roach Lake, which I like quite a bit. Before you start a, a, a new tournament or competition, make sure you know what species are at that map. So we know that there's Xander here. So this is a safe place for me to target Xander. The longer the tournament is or competition is, the more coins you get because we've only got 10 minutes. If we can get first place, we will get 800 coins. Now, in free fishing, the amount of fishing you would have to do to get up to 800 coins, it is a lot. So like I said, this is the way early on to start making that money to uh, increase your ability to, to upgrade both in different lures and bait as well as uh, better gear. Okay, so total weight. We're gonna turn fish fights off. I like fish fights on when I'm free fishing. I think it's fun the way that they do fish fights. But if you're in a competition, you're just trying to be efficient, get those fish in. So we will not turn those on, okay? Let's start it out and let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can get on some Xander. It has been a while since I have fished at Roach, but I think a lot of times I just go out here. Again, these are all AI opponents in, in this competition with you. So I think I just, we're just gonna pick a spot here. We're gonna click on the drill button and get a hole made. And then we're gonna settle in over our hole and hope that we have found a nice spot for uh, Xander. So let's select drone fly. And what this does is it's gonna put a little drone fly on the end of our lure. So now that's all set up and ready to go. Let's clear the ice off real quick. And let's drop it down in there. So with this type of jig, the Mamishka jig, what we want to do is very slow but steady movements. At least this is what I have found to work. You don't need to stop a lot. Oh, there's a fish. You don't need to stop a lot. You just want to keep it moving. We were too slow. So there's still a little bit of that fly left, which means we don't need to put a new one on yet. And this is one reason why I used the medium uh, reel that we started off with, is we will get a lot of small bites, and the heavy, the heavy reel doesn't, it's, it's sometimes it's harder to see that you're getting a nibble. So that was a very small bite. If we catch a nice Xander, it'll give us much more of a indication than that. That was either a very small Xander or something else. And all I'm gonna do is, so I'm holding down the left click to hold the reel out. I'm just doing our little back and forth movements here, nice and slow. There we go. And then when I see there's a fish on, what I'm gonna do is raise the rod up as far as I can and then let go of the left click. The other thing you could do is you can actually click this button down in the bottom right hand side and that will, um, that will also uh, bring it up in that same way. But I find it's just easier. Just trying to see if I have, oh, well, I think it's fine like this. Okay, so let's keep fishing. The reason why this works so well in these early competitions though, to start making your money is that what we're doing is we are successfully targeting Xander, which just happens to be one of the heavier fish at some of these early lakes. So if we get a handful of Xander, I don't know, three or four Xander even in a 10 minute competition, 
chances are we're going to place. If not first, at least second or third, and typically I get first. So um, it just seems like a good way to go early on to make that money. And then you can start experimenting with targeting different species. There's another fish. Ooh, look at that burbot. I don't see a lot of burbot with this uh, with this jig and bait. We're gonna try this spot one more time, but sometimes when you start catching things other than the Xander, that's a sign to me that we need to find a different spot to find the Xander. Because usually if the Xander are there, we'll catch them pretty consistently. But let's give it one more fish here and see. This is a 10 minute competition, so you just need to make sure that by the end of the 10 minutes, you're back in the starting area so you don't get disqualified. But you always like it when one of the AI doesn't make it back in time. It's kind of fun. In fact, the very first competition I did, I got first place, but only because one of the AI didn't make it back. They would have beaten me by about half a kilogram. So there's five minutes left. I think since we got another Xander, I will stay here again. So we're just adding a new, uh, a new maggot type thing to the back of our jig. You don't have to use the maggots or flies or stuff on the back, but it's recommended that you do. I think it definitely helps with the bite rate. you're not getting a bite sometimes really slowing down to very slow and just kind of going left to right we'll get the fish on but I typically just go to a, like a slow to medium speed and kind of just rotate it up and down but primarily I'm going left and right until I see a bite and of course that's just with the this type of jig the other lures and spoons and spinners and stuff all have their own sort of ideal way of, of using them. We're gonna give it about, oh, there we go. That took a long time to get that bite, but that's a nice Xander. Over a kilo here at Roach, that's a nice one. Flipping the fish around some is always good. I think we've probably got enough fish to win this thing. So we may just stay in this spot the whole time. Or if we don't get another bite by three minutes, maybe we'll just switch so you can see what it's like to switch holes mid-competition. We are getting low on time though, so it doesn't, at this point I wouldn't normally switch holes with this little time left. And I usually don't do the 10 minute to comps, I usually do at least 15, and then the tournaments are more like 30 or 45 minutes around. So you usually are switching holes multiple times if you feel like yours is just not catching them fast enough. All right, that's three minutes. Even though I think we would catch more fish here, let's go ahead and switch just so we can say we've switched once. The switching happens pretty quickly, and let's just go right over here. We don't want to get too far away from the starting area since we do have to be back soon. Drill a new hole. And we still have some fly left, so let's just go ahead and start fishing here. The bigger, the more expensive drills um, that will drill a larger hole will allow for bigger fish to come out. So that's kind of the, as you are progressing, you'll see the ability to catch bigger fish requires both stronger reels as well as or stronger rigs, as well as um, larger drills so that you can actually get the fish out. All right, and again, a minute 48 left. I mean, we may or may not have time to get one more bite here before we got to book it back to the starting area, but the very latest I would go is like 30 seconds. So we've got basically a minute here. 
but I wouldn't want to go any longer any longer than that just because you don't want to cut it too close on making sure you're back in time. All right, there we go. One last fish, and it's a perch. Lots of fish. Okay. So we've got a little time left, but uh, let's don't take any chances. So I think we will probably get first place because of the Xander, the Burbot. That weight will add up as a short comp. I think we'll do pretty well. During competitions, you can purchase new equipment, but um, you don't sell your fish. The only prize you're getting is not for the cost of the fish, but is for placing in the tournament or in the competition. So. Hopefully we will have done okay here. Again, this is Roach Lake. You can do a lot of different lakes. Xander are at a lot of different ones. If you're gonna use this trick, this tactic to target Xander, you do wanna make sure obviously you're fishing somewhere where the Xander are. And then the other thing you have to watch is like, places like Moose Lake have really nice Xander there, but they also have things like sturgeon and um, pike, some other sort of larger fish species. So if you're doing a total weight competition or largest fish competition, you want to make sure that if you're targeting Xander, Xander has a good chance of fulfilling that goal. Okay, so it looks like we got first place, and we only got first place by about, you know, 0.6 kilograms. So actually, that's a little closer than I usually have it, but uh, but still, first place is first place, which means we got 800 gold coins. So now if we go to equipment and look, we're up to 2,200 coins. Right now, I think probably my next purchase will be a, uh, a heavy drill. So we'll be saving for a little bit. In the meantime, we'll purchase some, some baits and, and lures and stuff here and there. But this is Ice Lakes. I hope you've enjoyed. It's a very chill game. Um, primarily what you're doing is what you've seen me doing. I mean, there's some variance on the different fish you're going for. They now have just tons of maps. In fact, there's some really cool, like the Chinese uh, garden map where you can catch things like koi. Uh, common carp, I think, are the biggest fish in the game or typically one of the bigger species in the game. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's chill, especially if you're playing with friends. I mean, that's kind of the sweet spot is uh, to have sort of a relaxing chill experience with friends i don't know that this is a game that would be like fun for a lot of hours if you're playing by yourself you could get some fun out of it kind of level up stuff get some equipment but um to me this feels more like uh you know hanging out in discord with friends and playing tournaments together and doing free fishing together and that kind of stuff so anyway thanks for watching and i will see you next time